What's up you guys, it's Cody. Welcome back to another video where we're gonna talk about how the Tesla Model Y does in cold weather. A lot of people have concerns about how the battery is going to perform during this colder weather. We're gonna look at how the battery does while the car is sitting in the garage and we're gonna look at how it does sitting outside in colder weather in the sunlight and how it does actually driving around as well. So whether you did or did not know, the Tesla Model Y is actually equipped with a heat pump to give you more consistent range in cold weather climates. This is a big improvement on past models, especially the Model 3 that did not come with the heat pump uh, in past years. And you can see that there's a bigger drop in the range that you can expect driving during the cold weather. So if you're in the winter, if you're in a colder climate, you're gonna see a decrease in range typically. But with this heat pump, it actually did a better job than I anticipated it to. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so starting in the garage, we're gonna look at some of the numbers that you wanna know. So right now, the temperature in the garage is roughly 50 degrees, just under that, maybe 49, 48 degrees in the garage. Let's take a look at what it is outside as well for reference. The car has been sitting in the garage for the last little bit, so it's acclimated. It is currently 25 degrees outside, and like I said, roughly 49 degrees here in the garage. So the car's been in the garage for the last four, maybe five hours. It is not plugged in, you can see here, and it has not been driven. So, we're uh, getting a very fresh start here on the car. We're gonna be looking at uh, where the battery's at right now, and we're gonna be looking at uh, you know where it's at in the morning. Also, let's look at the time so we know how to gauge it. It's 9.30 at night right now, so uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, 9.30, and then when we get to it tomorrow, we'll give you a time as well, so you can see uh, what the actual degrading of the battery is over a certain amount of time. All right guys, so jumping into the car, you can see it's 9.32 p.m. and Tesla says it's 46, uh, 46 degrees Fahrenheit outside, or at least in the car here in the garage, right? And we're sitting at 205 miles of range currently. So I also wanna pull up this information because um, I'm gonna do some driving tomorrow as well and we're gonna see how fast it degrades over time as we, as we actually go and do some driving. So we're sitting at 600 or 6,620 miles on the vehicle. And as we go out driving tomorrow, we're gonna take a look and see how much range we're actually using and how fast that battery is degrading uh, due to the cold weather. So as you can see, the temperature inside of the Tesla in the garage was about 46 degrees Fahrenheit and it was 9.30 at night and the battery was sitting at 205 miles of range. After 12 hours, 9.30 the next morning, the temperature had dropped down a little bit to 40 degrees Fahrenheit, but the range did only drop to 203 miles, which was only a two mile range drop. So that's actually pretty dang good. You know, sitting in my garage overnight, that's actually less than I expected. I was expecting somewhere between three and five miles of range lost just sitting there overnight uh, in the colder weather. So actually pretty dang good to only lose two miles. Now, obviously the garage is not actually that cold. I understand that 40 to 46 degrees inside the garage is not the cold weather that a lot of people are expecting. So you would see more degradation to the battery if you were sitting in colder weathers or if the car was parked outside, you know, where it's 20 degrees. So if the garage does get colder than that or the car is sitting outside, of course it's going to actually degrade a little bit quicker and I think that's probably where you will see that three to five mile uh, loss when it comes to the actual range. All right guys we're back here the next morning as you can see the car is still not plugged in. Haven't plugged it in all night. Right now we're sitting at uh, just under about 43 degrees here on the thermometer inside the garage. <clears throat> Last night it got down to about 21, 22 degrees outside. Uh, so pretty cold, but the thermometer says about 43. Let's see what it says inside the Tesla. Let's wait for this to fire up. And as you can see, it is 9.30, so it's been exactly 12 hours. If we can get that to load. Get that to focus, there we go. So it's, it's, been, it's 9.30 a.m., it's been exactly 12 hours. It says it's 40 degrees here in the Tesla and we're sitting at 203 miles of range. Let me get this to focus, there we go. Uh, so 203 miles of range, 930, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So yeah, we're gonna take it for a drive today and we're gonna see how many miles we put on it and also how quickly that range diminishes. So we're still at 6,620 miles and we'll see where we're at 
after taking it for a drive. All right, just checking in real quick. It's 44 degrees outside, 2.41 p.m. We have 6,628 miles on the car and we're sitting at 191. So I think we're at 206. So we've lost 15 miles worth of range, even though we've only driven, I believe, eight miles. The car's been sitting out here uh, in the sun, but uh, in the parking lot for about three and a half hours. You can see that we actually drove the car eight miles, but we lost a total of 12 miles on the range indicator. So of course, eight miles of this was because we actually drove that distance, and then we had a net loss of four miles of range. So for those eight miles, I'd say that probably two of them were uphill. We probably had about four that were flat, and then we had about two that were downhill as well. So, you know, to lose four miles there, not too bad either. All right, guys, so checking in again, it's 352, still 43 degrees outside. The car's been out in the colder weather all day, and we're down to 169 miles of range. And if we pull this up, we're now sitting at 6,647 miles on the car. So I'll need to run some numbers and see exactly how much range we lost based on how much we drove and how much was lost to cold weather. So as we come up on our third check-in at 3.52 p.m., you can see that we actually drove 19 miles but lost 22 miles on our range indicator, meaning that we had a net loss of three miles. These miles were all mostly flat, just driving around town, no uphill, no downhill, wasn't punching it, wasn't driving extra slow, just normal daily driving, and we lost three miles over uh, that trip there. So really not too bad. You know, honestly, this is something that kind of surprised me. I was expecting to lose a little bit more range given the colder temperatures. And again, like I said, I understand that 40 degrees is not that cold of temperature. It definitely doesn't compare if it was in the 30s, the 20s, you know, down into the teens or maybe even single digits. I understand that the degradation to the battery is going to be more significant but for this you know daily cold weather that we get here in the, my local area you know that's roughly what we can expect you know a, a winter day here is going to be somewhere in the 30s or very low 40s so not too bad actually better than i was expecting to only lose that much range over that amount of time not being plugged in i'm pretty happy with it Perhaps we'll run this test again when we do get a cold front that comes through and we see those temperatures drop down into the low 20s, maybe into the teens or even single digits and we'll see how the car performs then. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, give me a thumbs up here on the video to let me know that you liked it. It helps me out with the YouTube algorithm massively. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more money, stocks and real estate. I love talking about all those things here on the channel and I also put out the occasional Tesla video just like this. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.